hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna give you guys a glimpse into how my creativity works like random times throughout the week like i could be grocery shopping and i'll get an idea like that's just my brain i'm constantly working i'm constantly thinking of just just whatever anything creative i'm just always thinking so um friday night saturday and sunday mornings is usually when i get a chance to actually bring these thoughts to life so yeah i just wanted to you know record it for you guys this is like a random occurrence for me on a weekly basis um, these diys are nothing new or exciting it's just ways that i've you know thought of over the week of how i can revamp my wardrobe um, i get tired of just wearing the same thing over and over again so i try to just revamp it and make it something new um so like i said i wanted to record it for you guys just you know just because like there's nothing new or exciting as far as these DIYs go at least I don't think so um, but hopefully you know it may inspire you guys to go and revamp some clothes in your wardrobe as well and I'm for that so first up let's see I got this um, t-shirt the last time I went thrifting and it's in a what is it a boy's size large and I want it large boy size large and I wanted to uh, crop it like I said nothing new or exciting but um yeah I just wanted to revamp it in a way you can never have too many t-shirts and I really love like the lived in like dusty look so that's kind of like my thing <laughs> so yeah I'm just pretty much gonna crop it now I'm gonna put my camera on a tripod so you guys can see me do it all right, so I'm not going to try it on or anything. I'm pretty much just going to eyeball it. Like, I really did not feel like trying it on. And if you guys hear random sirens in the background, do not worry. I do not live in a war zone. I just live in Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, just the street. Maybe a little lower. Remember, always cut less because you can always go back and cut more. I don't know if I'm gonna take the collar off or not. Might. Just depends. So here it is. I think I'm gonna crop it a little more. Maybe it's like right here. I don't like how much it's hanging in the back. And. I think I'm gonna take the collar off. Two. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let me take the collar off. I'm gonna cut just the collar off. I'm not gonna cut like that. Because that gives you a really off the shoulder look. I'm just gonna remove the collar with which kind of opens up the neck area, but not too much. So when we're removing the collar, you just want to cut right after that seam right there. I'm gonna let them finish. <laughs> Comes with the territory. So you guys remember um, the DIY four ways to revamp jean video that I did. I'll link it like right here. Um, here are the ones that I did with like the asymmetric de deconstructed hem kind of thing. Next, an idea to remove the pockets and kind of like replace them someplace else. So that's what I'm going to do with these jeans. I'm just going to take a seam ripper and just remove the pocket. Let's see how we're going to do this. I just want to show you guys that it's actually working. <laughs> so the first couple of seams to get it started is where 
it's hard but after that it's kind of easy just slide the seam ripper down and if you don't have a seam ripper a razor do well as well Alright, so finally done. Both pockets are off. And you just want to make sure you get all the little threads out of it. It's not cute. <laughs> so pretty much what we're going to do is do it like that. And do it like that. I think that's what I want to do or do I want to bring it to the yeah I think I want to have it towards the center I don't have to be super even but I don't want them to be crooked either all right so you can definitely sew this I'm not sewing you know I'm a fan of glue so first I'm gonna see if my liquid stitch works. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna see if my glue gun works. If that doesn't work, I do have some, what is that, really uh, strong glue. I can't remember the name, the E something. But that I really hate using that, especially on fabrics because the amount of fumes that it gives off is just, it's not healthy at all. Um, it has a warning on the back that it, causes cancer and all i just don't even want those problems so hopefully the liquid stitch works let's pray it was for fabric but this is jean this is a heavier fabric so i might just have to use a lot more glue so i'm happy with the placement take some chalk so i can make sure i place it right where it's supposed to be and just make an outline of where i want it to go both sides Oops. Great. Take this liquid stitch. So yeah, these are Jordache jeans. I got these when I went to Houston and I went to their little consignment thrift stores out there. They have the best, hands down, best thrift stores I've seen. The prices are a little jacked up, but they got some quality pieces. All right, so this was right here, but it came off when I was removing this um, seams. So I'm just gonna place it right back there, some glue. Not too much. And boom, we're done. I'm gonna let these dry. I'll do a few other DIYs and then I'll try it on for you guys. See how it looks. Okay, so next up we have these mom jeans that I've had for a while. Of course, they're thrifted originally, but you know, I just want to revamp them. So I want to do the whole cut out knee thing on both knees. So I have some chalk. Uh, I think I want right about here. Just start. And in. Probably.
Nothing's gonna be perfect, so. And if it don't work, if I don't like it, I you can I can always cut it into some shorts. So I've never been scared to cut anything because you can always make it work. Always. Let's try them on. Yep. So here they are. I'm pretty satisfied. I can't wait to style them. See how they look like a completed outfit and shoes. Yeah. It's cute. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I do think maybe I could have made this a little shorter. So maybe here. Hmm. I flip. I think that's cute. I wouldn't glue it though. I would definitely sew it. I think this is pretty cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this is hot. I'm asking you what you guys think and <laughs> like you can talk back to me. This is cute, I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, this is hot. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm gonna hand sew it. So yeah, let me go get my hand sewing kit. Let's get it popping. I don't know why this, tripod is so raggedy this is what i get for buying things as a bundle like it does not want to stay straight right there so here's the sewing kit that i got i got it from the dollar store these needles are so cheap Ugh, trash so i think i'm gonna use white i'm gonna see how the white thread looks i think it's the most transparent Tell you girl, ain't no shame in my game. Ain't nothing wrong with doing a little hand sewing, a little gluing. Mm -mm. Whatever's easier for you. I know I just need to stop just being lazy and just learn how to use my sewing machine, but I don't have time right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. All right, so one leg is done. It's not super neat. You can actually like see the threading, but I think that adds the whole like distressed look. Um, yeah. Then it's gonna fray some and all that good stuff too to make it blend a little more, so yeah. I'm gonna do the other one off camera because this camera keeps overheating and shutting off. So I'll come back when both sides are done. Peace. All right, so here's the finished look. I'm super excited. This is cute. This came out better than I thought it would come out. So yeah, even a little cycle raggy. <laughs> My stitching is just all over the place, <laughs> but I don't even care. All right, so these jeans have dried. Here is the finished product. Super cute.
All right, guys, so that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired. I know this video was a little on the long side, so I want to reward you guys who actually sat through the whole entire thing. I'm going to be giving away all the supplies I use in this video to help you create your random DIYs. All you have to do is comment down below with the latest DIY that you've created, and you can also head on over to my Instagram account, which is the Notorious KIA, and find this picture like it and also comment with the latest DIY you've created and you'll be entered. The contest will end a week from today. So let's say June 1st at midnight and then I'll message whoever on Instagram or here on YouTube on the second, let you know that you won. You just let me know um, all your shipping information, all that great stuff and that's it. Um, yeah, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it, if you like to see more of this kind of video. You, you guys know I'm always interested in your suggestions, so Jeff, definitely let me know um, in the comments, whatever. Uh, shoot me an email, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Snapchat at the Notori Yes KIA. Um, yeah, one more thing. I'm going to be in Dallas June 11th. I'm going to be holding a style workshop. Pretty much going to be addressing, you know, how to dress for less, how to, you know, find your personal style. I'm going to be covering thrifting, DIY, all that good stuff. So definitely check the description box for a link to where you can purchase tickets and get your life. So yeah, guys, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and dopeness.